Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Pioneer Mill. Uh, we won die roll. Let's see what we can get here. I made some changes to the deck. Uh, I removed all our Vantress Gargoyles. I haven't been super impressed with how he's been playing lately. Uh, so I put in some Wall of Lost Thoughts. I also put in some Ops, some more card draw. So we got four Ops, uh, I believe three Wall of Lost Thoughts. And uh, yeah, we took out the rest of our Vantress. I think we cut one of our Into the Stories. Uh, so I'm going to switch it up. See what we can do. This is a debatable hand. I think I'm going to mulligan. All we've got... It's a good hand besides that. I just don't know if I want to chance getting screwed over on the one lander. It always seems to screw me over, so we're going to mulligan. I would love to keep it, but this is a way better hand. We'll keep. Uh, we'll go ahead and... Uh, let's see here. We'll drop the Mystic Sanctuary. Say done. We'll get things rolling with our Venture Deeper. There we go. All right, so let's take a look at what we got here. Dragon plants. Uh, is this the Grixis Dragon deck? Guess we'll find out. Let's pass the turn. See what happens. Just playing a land. All right, well, well that, that helps us a little bit here. Let's go ahead and get our Drown Secrets out. We'll start cranking out uh, a little bit more mill next turn. All right, plant defender hexproof. Interesting. Okay. Maybe this isn't the Grixis dragons. All right, we got into the story. That's not bad either. Let's go ahead and. Play out our Merfolk Secret Keeper, mill him for two. And uh, I think we'll go ahead and hold up Drown of the Lock for a turn. See if we can counter something pretty important. Let's take a look at what they're really doing here. Dragon Egg? Okay, so this is some kind of dragon deck, but playing with some plants for extra mana. Oh yeah, we are not allowing that to resolve. No thank you, Sarkin. Hit a big boy over here. Let's take a look at him. Ooh, he's cool. Flying. Ooh, alright, yeah. Good hit right there, good hit. Ooh, an aberration. Alright, so we're kind of running dry on cards we could be playing here. We're not close to consuming apparition. And we're one car, one land away from our Into the Story, so. Looks like we hit a Spirit Dragon. Two Spirit Dragons, not bad. Well, they're free to play whatever this turn. But it does look like we're holding up another counter, possibly, so. Looks like they played it safe. Alright, an Opt. Let's go ahead and Opt. See if we can pull into something. I don't know why I clicked their name for the Opt, but... All right, let's see. Where's my scry thing here? What's going on? Am I missing something? No, where's my thing? It's not appearing. Uh oh. What? What's going on here? This is on the stack, but it's not showing my scry. Oh, there it is. Wow. Jeez, oh, pizza. Uh, we will put that on top and draw it. Absolutely. All right, let's mill him for a bit more. Buried under the graveyard. That wasn't cool. All right, we're hitting a lot of good stuff. A Boreal Grazer. We hit another Sarkin? Or no, we hit a Sandra. Oh, yeah, we did. We hit another Sarkin. All right, pass to them. See what happens. Sorry about that. Hidden behind the graveyard. I like moved this too and I didn't see it. Alright, they got a Sandra. We have them at 22 cards though, so it's... We got them on a good clock here as long as we keep drawing pretty well. Uh, gains haste. Okay. Does X damage. Okay. Well, that's going to get pretty gnarly. We'll just do what we can do. We'll mill him for six.
get our defenders out, but they won't be able to block these dragons, so it's kind of unfortunate. I don't think we have access to a, a mill card that's a wall that has a reach right now. <clears throat> that would be excellent, though. Can't tell you how many games I've lost in standard and stuff just because these guys right here don't have reach. Just goes right above them. Oops, my bad. Oh my gosh, missing triggers. Missing when I have to do stuff. Alright, 15 cards left. Uh, we're about to be on a little bit of a clock. Gonna add some more mana. They got plenty of cards in their hand, so. Like, Consuming Aberration doesn't even have reach either. It's unfortunate. So, hopefully, cutting the Vantress helps our mill plan a little bit more. Uh, Wall of Lost Slots mills for four. Uh, Vantress does not. And you know what? We've barely swung in with Vantress. We've never sealed a game with Vantress. Oh, uh, yuck. It's going to be gnarly. Oh, yeah. We're going we're gonna to hit for a lot. Here we go. Hitting me. Going straight to my face. Makes sense. Can't block. Gonna give him plus one. Why not? Gonna give him another plus one. Why not? Hit for six. Go to twelve. Man, this Mystic Sanctuary isn't even gonna help us this turn. Well, shoot. Yeah, it's not great. It's not great. We only need 14 more cards. I have to play at the Mystic Sanctuary, though, so we can reload our hand with Into the Story. There's a chance we could die here. There's a chance. Definitely getting hit for six. And definitely more from Dragon Tempest. Let's see what they do here. Playing something big. Another Scourge. Okay. Triggers, trigger, triggers for days, for days. So we're very close to dead here. I don't know if we can uh, recover from this. Even if we got like a breaking, uh, it wouldn't be enough. We have to like opt into a breaking. That's what we have to do. <laughs> uh, will that even be enough? I'll say two from that, ten. Nah, that's like not even going to be enough. But we're just dead anyway, so it doesn't matter. All right. Fatal push isn't the best. Thought erasure, I think, will be all right. I did put the Vantress and two of them into the sideboard just in case. Uh, maybe even for instances like this where we need to block some flying, so maybe we'll actually see some use out of him. Uh, but what to cut? What to cut? Seems like we should cut our all of lost thoughts. It can't block. Maybe even the Murfolk, one Murfolk Secret Keeper. I like keeping him in though, because he's worth like double cards for Drown Secrets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Fatal Push I don't think is going to be super great, so let's stick with Thought Erasure. Just try to pull out any of their nasty stuff out of their hand. Yeah, we'll play first. We'll play first. Uh, again, another awkward hand. We'll keep it. Uh, I don't like it, though. I don't like the Mystic Sanctuary. It's a bit unfortunate. Let's see if they uh, mulligan. Pass. Mm. 
Well, Vantress early. That's nice. So I think... Uh, we have a couple turns to set up here. So let's just set up. Set up for getting our, our mill going a little bit. I think we'll probably do... Well, depending. We can... If we get another land, we can Merfolk Secret. We can venture deeper. Hit him for 6 mil. Put our Vantress and set up to swing in and start blocking. Uh, we don't draw another land, though. So I think... I think we're just going to go breaking here. Hit him for 10, and then we can throw down our Vantress and stuff. Looks like we hit some good stuff. Definitely hit a lot of creatures. Hit a Sarkin. Okay. Alright. They take care of that. Uh, that's alright. We can get Frank Sanity down, hopefully. No, I don't want to see these. We're so far away. It's not great. Um... I'm going to hold up Drown... I want to hold up Drown the Lock. But I also want to get down Vantress. Three cards in hand. They could play a Sarkin next turn. Create a five red dragon. Hmm. I guess we'll play Vantress. Play Vantress and pass. While we can block with them still. You know, if they put down a, a flying... If they put down Sark and make a dragon or play another dragon that has haste, then we can block it. Try to stave off some damage. That's all we're really using Vantress for here. I, I do not expect to win the game with Vantress. It's just to stave off damage and maybe kill one of their dragons. Okay, just passing back. Pretty interesting. Okay, let's go to attack then and we'll, we'll swing in for a minute here. See if they want to take out the guy. They do not. I'm going to pass with Drown the Lock then. Looks like they're setting up still. Just passing again. Okay. They're nervous about my mana being held up. They gotta do something here. Okay. I don't know what they're doing anymore. Maybe we will see Vantress clean up the game. I have no clue. They're doing absolutely nothing. Of course, I take Vantress out, and then it's finally useful, and we're finally winning a game with it. How fun is that? <laughs> Alright, so they're gonna return a card from your graver to your hand. Okay, sure. Uh, we have to discard. We'll get rid of one of our consuming aberrations. We'll just get ready to counter whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay. And we'll go to game two. Or game three. Alright, I think I like what we have going here. Let's run it back. Finally see Vantress close out a game. On the game that I take him out of the main deck. <laughs> Alright, this is a dec decent hand. Um, we'll keep it. We'll, we'll Tome Scour first. Get rid of a few things. And then we'll... Start playing down some stuff here. All right, Mystic Sanctuary. 
Hit a Sarkin, hit a Scourge of Velakis. They like playing that one. Okay, they're setting up. We'll be able to get Frank Sanity online, which will be nice. I think we're going to go ahead and put down Vantress now. We can start tapping it to mill them for one each turn, too, after he loses Summoning Sickness. But if we draw any mill, mill card next turn, we'll be able to swing in with them. Alright, they're going to bring him out. Okay, cool. Alright, so Tome Scour. I think we're just going to set up with Frank Sanity and keep up Vantress as a blocker. For now. It's a bit tricky because they have ways to deal with Vantress for sure. But getting Frank Sandy down early is really going to help us in the long run. Sandra, can't do anything about it. And they can kill our creature with that if they want. Doesn't look like they will. Sarkin, okay. Discard card, draw card, cool. Just going to pass, that's fine. Island is good, let's opt first. I would like to see what we can find here. Drown in the lock. Oh man, do we just want to start this mill or do we want to start killing creatures? Hmm. I think I'll take it. We play a cre uh, land? Okay, we played a land. Could swing in here. Maybe force a block. Because if I don't use it, I'm losing it, basically. They got two cards left. We're going to go at Sarkin. He can make it all the Planeswalkers dragons if he wants. Right? Is that this card? No, it's not. It's that different one. Um... Yeah, it's fine. We'll just go one of their planeswalkers. The block, that's fine. Take out one of their creatures. We'll pass. I didn't really expect to take one of their planeswalkers out anyways. I kind of expected them to chump block. But it's a dragon off the battlefield and we can counter. Uh, this will force them to like want to add mana with Chandra. Uh, hopefully to tap out big and we'll just drown in the lock one of their big creatures uh, so yeah, you may cast a card if you don't okay rebound crag alright so fair enough and we shall counter him again we don't like this Scourge. It's a pretty beefy, hefty, hefty card. Put out a Dryad, sure. Okay. All right, now we're now we're getting some stuff here. Let's put out a Drowned Secrets. Put down our Mystic Sanctuary. We'll play a Tome Scour. We'll hit him for good amount this turn. And we'll pass. They have one card in hand. 
So they really need to be top decking some good stuff, basically. I'm sure they have one good dragon card in their hand still, but at this point they need to really start top decking good stuff. Alright, so land drop. Dragon. Let's see what that last card was. Ooh, they got Scourge. Okay. Clock is on. They're down to 23 cards, though, so I think we can clean this up. We're gonna... If we don't draw something decent, we're gonna opt into... We're gonna opt into something decent. So what we're, that's just what we're gonna do. They're on a pretty hefty clock. So, note, this is a very different deck than what we were playing last week. Or the week before, whichever one. Uh, the, la the other decks were playing with um, Bolus. Just Bolus everywhere. This one's just more just dragon tribal, basically. Let's opt uh, and see what we can find. Just finish him off. I think we'll be able to just finish him off this turn. So it should be alright. Island, put on bottom, draw Thought Erasure, we can take that out of their hand, and we'll just close them out. Mind Sculpt for 7, bring them down to 12, we'll just do this, take the last card out of their hand. Boom, you're gone, do that. Oh, we surveil. Uh, whatever, we'll put it in the graveyard, doesn't matter. Pass the turn, mill him for the final 14, win the game. GG, good game. I like it. Woo! Alright, cool, we got... Ah, <laughs> uh, the day I take Vantress out, and then he comes in handy. It's, uh, it's hilarious. Uh, yeah, but hopefully you guys enjoyed, uh, actually let me, uh, let me go here. Go to my collection really quick, show you what we switched around. Alright, so, yep, brought in the four ops, took out the Vantress, put two in the sideboard. Um, still three John Secrets, three uh, Wall of Lost slots were added in. That's it for the main. Uh, did I do anything else? Uh, we added, we took out Psychic Corrosion from the sideboard and we added in Disperse. I've been seeing... Some people playing with, like, uh, the Hexproof card, the Leyline of Sanctity, something like that. Uh, so this is just another way, maybe if we need to deal with an enchantment or something to take it off the board, maybe there's better cards, better dispersed cards. This was just, like, what I had in my inventory. So I was like, ah, this might be more useful than Psychic Corrosion, because I don't see us using Psychic Corrosion all that often. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like on the video, subscribe for more Mill and more Slivers coming up this week as well. And we will see you guys in the next video.